All right, everyone. Welcome back to the Sage streaming Surviving Mars. Yes. So last time I was uh, starting my Martian base. I have um, I have uh, built this thing. Uh, I have also made a massive, massive uh, pipeline with the idea of um, gathering water which was nice, except it doesn't seem to be quite done yet because it doesn't have power. Why doesn't it have power, though? Well, first, I heard something... Research. Research complete. I heard something about uh, a low battery. Is that this unit? Do you have a low battery? Yes, you do. So let's send you back to recharge over yonder by the recharge station. Uh, exploration. We want to scan... Well, let's start off with the corners, I guess. Research is also a thing. Mm. More applicants. No, we're not there yet. <clears throat> More research was a thing, right? I recall... More oxygen, more salvage. Did I already do? So this one gives me more research, but I thought that was another one that also gave me more research somewhere. Huh. Faster drones and rovers. Sure, I'm spreading out in space already. This is done, this is done. So we need to make people survive. Currently things are going quite okay, I think, right? People are living here. They, yeah, so they have houses and they have a place to work over here. Farming is a thing, right? Hello, who are you? Pang Wapong, security officer. Okay. Uh, what's this place? A diner. That's cool. So they can eat. And we have. Uh, oh, that's the dome itself. A space bar. That sounds cool. So, basically, um, what we need most, I think, is more people. And more people can't come until I've demonstrated I can keep these alive. So let's focus on... So we're building this thingy. Moxie. I think that makes oxygen, so that's useful. We're also making moisture thingies. Uh, power is in the plus. Oxygen's in the plus. We need more monies at some point, but not really a priority yet. So this is a power line, right? So why doesn't this place get power? Oh, it does now. Right, so this is working. Producing water. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, if stuff breaks down, these guys will have to go back there, but for now, I think they can just go help with the stuff we're building in our colony. So, what are the things we really want? Mm, domes, not just yet. <clears throat> yeah, so casinos are a thing. Was I already um, building, collecting metals here? Yes, I was. Do people actually work here? Yeah, two people right now. Wrong workspace specialization. Okay. So, can I get an overview of my people in general? Colonists. Disabled work slots. No children will be born because the average comfort of fertile couples is too low. Fair enough, fair enough. If I were one of 12 people on Mars, I wouldn't be breeding just yet either. I bet there's an overview where you can see the colonists you have, right? Hmm... Scientist, officer, let's see, build menu, map overview, resupply, research, hmm, 
I would like a colonist overview. Let's see who who are all the people we have and what are they doing. But I guess because you can actually specify that, right? You can say these are the people. Resources are low. Electronics are low. Well, that's fair enough because we bought them from Earth. And I believe I had quite a bunch of buildings as well that I, that I ordered from Earth. Like, for example, an electronics factory. But it requires rare metals that we do not have yet. Do we have them on the map? Yes, we do. But in order to mine them, we would need more people. So let's see. Uh, could we already build another dome? Because as soon as I have the room, because I have quite a bit of money left. So suppose we already start work on a second dome. Now, we are going to want to bring in this stuff, but also surface this area. Is there, is there more money to be made anywhere? No, so I think this area is worth uh, developing. So if we were to build a dome there, what would it need again? I think we needed power for sure. So let's see, where are our power lines right now? Here. Draw a power line from this node, I guess. Mm. There. And the dude that built stuff, this one, can go and service that. Oh, uh, you. Go here. Explorer has his batteries charged, so it can go explore. This is an anomaly, right? Let's go collect more science. All right, we'll build around it, damn you. And then this we can mine without, uh, without a dome. So what we need is a dome somewhere like here-ish. Actually, right around here would work fairly well, I think. As long as this is within its reach, right? Because if you build a dome... A dome? Then it'll show you... Yeah. So you want to be able to work those two sites. So that's a good spot. Bring me power! Bring me power over yonder. There. What's wrong with you? Why aren't you working? You don't have access to a pump, which is weird because this is right next to it, but okay. That's fine. That's fine. Life support. Pipe. So once that's built, this will be working as well. Oh, right. I had a plan to make my uh, life support systems a bit less uh, vulnerable to single choke point disruption by making it circular. Uneven terrain. Okay. So maybe not there, but there then. Ah, come on. If I, if I want to build there, then just let me build around someplace, right? Makes sense to me. Alright, so once this is in place, then if some of these spots get disrupted, then at least we'll have backups. That should work. How do I get more drones though? Because I get the feeling that we have fairly few. The station only controls them, right? Yeah, so where do we get more of them? We build them. Put 
produces machine parts, creates electronics, produces fuel. Hmm. So, it's the only place we can get drones from Earth? That's rather inconvenient. You, can you build over here, please? Thank you. So, we're also going to need life support down in that direction. So, oh, no. Deselect this thingy and build pipes. Yes, and there. <laughs> you can get the tech to build drones. Okay, so that's cool. Ooh, let's have a look, because I want to do that. I guess it's under robotics, right? That would make the most sense. So in that case, we're already on the right track. Oh, this is this is not near. Jeez, that's a lot of tech. Okay, okay, cool. <laughs> uh, I my plan is to send my ships back uh, once I have. Um, once I have some money to do that. Mm. Right, let's see. Where is my explorer? It's still going strong. Okay, good. That's not a lot of water surplus, considering this device is supposed to be... Oh, now it doesn't have power again? This is power, right? Too far from... Not producing due to lack of demand. Ah, okay. Okay, so the water surplus seems low, but it's not actually low. So if we want to do stuff, I guess we can bring this together at a later point. But if we want to do this to work, then we need a drone. Uh, what was it? Drone commander? Infrastructure. Drone hub. Yeah. So I guess it's not. Oh, wait. You need prefab parts. Use the resupply rockets. <clears throat> All right, so I guess we're going to need like two more of those. And we have one more potential for incoming ship. I guess we can send one back because we're not going to send them all back full. Travel back to Earth. How do I send it back then? No. Oh, this still has resources on board, so let's not send that one back. Um, this one's refueled and empty, so this one we can send back. This looks like a dangerous place to launch from. So now it's going. Take off in progress. Milestone achieved. Launch the rocket from Mars. Awesome. And is my base going to survive that? I don't know. Let's see. That looks super dangerous. But okay. Okay. I'm I'm not complaining. Everything's working just fine. Look at it go. Awesome. Dust for everyone, indeed. Alright. So... the eye a veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder so following texts have world. been revealed adapted pro probes drone hub mars crowdfunding soil adaptation sustainable architecture all right let's have a look so we can do more stuff now drone hub lets you build 
drone hubs. That's cool. Let's do that after this one then, which I would have gotten anyway. Receive a one-time grant for a billion in funding. Okay. Better architecture. Bigger buildings. Clearing of salvage stuff. Better farms. Okay. All cool. Oh yeah, that's uh, probably a good idea as well. So, do I need to control click or does it just automatically queue it? It automatically queues it. All right, let's queue two for now. Building's not working. What's not working? Because we have too much cement. Fine. I guess it, there's no harm in it sitting around. So let's build a storage unit for it. <clears throat> More concrete then. Um, do I mind having them bring it a little ways over here? No, I don't. Alright, so we're now going to get our concrete chipped over there. So this building is now working again. We still need to survive a little while, but this works, so let's build a dome. Dome. Yep, that looks fine. Just misplace these a little bit, I guess. Do we... Life support... Oh, this looks good, right? This is where it needs to go. Okay, cool. Concrete, metals, and polymers. Do we still have those? We do, but not a lot. And we need them for maintenance as well. And in order to build them, we need more people. This is uh, turning out to be a... Yeah, 18 workers. We only have 12 across the entire colony. And we need fuel for that as well, which requires water. Huh. That seems worthwhile. So how do these refuel then? We don't have a fuel refinery yet, do we? No. That's all. So how do these ships refuel? Based on what? And this works automatically, though. Just needs power. Let's build it somewhere over here. Nowhere too crucial, I guess. Oh, hi, Plokia. Thank you. That's kind. <laughs> All right, so building a dome, can they manage that based on distances and stuff? Looks like it. Yeah, so they can, okay. Ah, they're using the, uh, the randomly scattered metal, which means I'm still gonna have to bring the rest of the stuff. Well, I have a, I have a unit for that as well. Rover, Explorer, Transporter. Go collect the concrete, for starters. No, don't select it. Ah, controls are a thing. Transport. Collect the concrete, yes. Where are you? Go! Uh, apparently I need to do this, okay. <clears throat> How much do I need again? I knew that. The dome costs... 
80 concrete. All right. Are you loading now? Oh, right. Load the concrete. Yes. So what else do we need? Polymers, right? Yeah. Ten polymers. <sighs> Too far from working drone commander. Well, the water's just in the wrong spot, okay? Sheesh. Alright, so apparently this doesn't work until we can build some drone units. Which we can after two research steps. Yeah, what? Sure. Ten thousand science for two billion. Sure, let's do that. So, have you loaded up your stuff yet? 45 means full, okay. So then I'd like you to dump it there. Cool, that works. Let's speed things up a little bit, because I get the feeling I'm mostly just waiting for this uh, human survival interval. Sector scanned. Select a sector to scan. All right. Um, give me that one. Research complete. That's cool. So this one's next. What do we get after that? Drone printing. Construct new drones. Yes, that's definitely something we want because that limits our building potential a lot. Did you dump the stuff? Yeah, so go over here. Oh, produced food. Oh, I didn't produce food before. That sucks. So load up polymers. After all, purpose is the strongest long-term driver. Since arriving on Mars, Armani's enthusiasm has grown above average, even by founder norms. And the productivity can be boiled down to one simple explanation. He really loves what he's doing. He has the enthusiast traits. Awesome! That sounds good. So, uh, load polymers 5, 10. Confirm. Yes. 10, please. Uh, there weren't 10, so now it can do the same here. Load stuff there. Uh, 13, whatever. Just dump them near there again. So that means I just dumped all my polymer in a spot where it doesn't really need to go. So let's see if we can request some more stuff. Um, polymers are much needed. Let's get us some drones while we still don't have those. Prefab buildings. Is there anything we really need? Drone hubs I can build now, I think, or soon. Yeah, I have most of those other ones already. 
Well, let's not assume we have enough food just yet. Get some stuffs. Yeah, so I think uh, the uh, the easy start mode has a real big excess of uh, finances, which is cute. Um, so that should speed up the building. This we can get locally. We still have space. Yeah, sure, I guess. Do we want more of these? Yeah, I guess the mobile controller one is kind of nice to have. Yeah, give me more drones. There we go. So, we are now bringing more stuffs. That's awesome. How's this construction going? We have polymers, we have metals, we need more concrete. Resources are low. Anomaly found. Okay, that's cool. Hey, where's the where are those meteors coming from? That was not the deal. You were supposed to predict when they would happen. Yes, bring me the concrete. Uh, where's the thing? Alright, so now we can build a drone hub near this thing, which is cool. So that would be under production, right? No, infrastructure. We don't have the electronics. Oh, that's going to be awkward. Uh... Did you get the concrete I asked? Yes, please dump it somewhere they can use. Because these guys need to do some building. So except for the concrete, everything's there. So now it should be finished soon. How much more life support am I going to need? And does everyone still have food? Yes. So just building infirmary. Yeah, but people need to work there. You can't just build empty buildings and then expect everything to just be okay, right? Hmm. I have a feeling I'm missing something. Because <clears throat> this expansion is super slow. Even though everything's kind of running on its own accord. Sector scanned. Select a sector to scan. Oh, no yes. Research. research complete. Hold up. Why aren't we researching anything more? So. Yes, thank you. Sure. Let's see what comes up after that. Drone printing. Constructs drone prefab from electronics, which can be used in drone hubs. Yeah, <clears throat> but to get electronics, we need to build an electronics factory, which requires workers. So just send me more people already. Can't you just see I'm doing fine-ish, right? Zip, speed things up. <laughs> That's nice. I like that. Oh, wait. We don't have enough. We need 10 more um, concrete, apparently. Go and get it. Oh, view information about your colonists. Okay. Yeah. 
Alright. Um, sponsor bonuses. I don't know. I went with the uh, with the uh, quick, easy start to get an idea of the game. So um, probably a lot. It, there was uh, a shit ton of money. I think this is this is as close to sandbox mode as you can get, except for the part. Depleted deposits. Okay, well that's. Fine, we have another concrete extractor here, or at least a place where we can build one. I think we have quite a bit of excess concrete as well. Ready to land. Land it. Mm. Here? Here it works. So can I demolish this yet? I think that was actually a research part, wasn't it? Allows the clearing of salvaged and destroyed buildings. Mm, not really. No active research. Research complete. Water production increased. It reduces water consumption by a drone. Uh, of the dome, I mean. RC rover. Oh, that seems cool. Better rovers. Yeah, it would be cool if you wouldn't really need the humans. Cool. <laughs> wow, well, there's a lot of activity going on here. Get all the stuff out of there. All right. Lots and lots of drones, of course. That's awesome. Kind of glad with that. So you can just chill over here, make sure we get our water production going. Mm. Oi, didn't I tell you? Wait. Or did I just tell it to go and get the concrete and didn't tell it to go and bring it there? Fair enough. So can I demolish this somehow? Salvage. Well, since it's not doing anything, I guess we can. Yep, it's gone. So can I still build one here if I want? Mm. Yeah, not really a priority, is it? Uh, this one actually seems really useful because maintenance is also costly. Yeah, I finished the dome. Awesome. So, we're going to want... So I guess you can have you can have one dome specialized in very happy people because the happiness is is per dome, right? Or per person, even. So, so I guess you can have one that has lots of workers and one that has lots of happiness. So then this would be the happiness one. Uh, yikes. Fix it. Fix it. Uh, I guess they're on it, right? Does the drones do that automatically? Don't they? Did I get another one of those drone controllers things? Hmm. Thanks for the follow, Sakura Capture. Ah. So, suppose we make this place super happy and then we make this place super workery or something. 
And we're almost at the point where we can start. Uh, let's see if there's some cool research options. Research, yes. Research options for better buildings in the dome. So then we skip these for now. Bigger buildings. Yeah, so this one would be kind of nice to uh, to house the workers in. Because this is where we're going to be making money. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's cool. So, so if we want people to be happy here, then I guess we would want a nursery as well, because this is where they're going to be breeding at some point. Put the nursery next to the diner, not next to the bar. Fair enough. Yeah, so putting the food production here already didn't make that much sense, I suppose. What other stuff do we want here? Let's have a look. So we have a space bar and a diner. Oh wait, the nursery is not the infirmary. That was dumb. Because we definitely need that first. <laughs> nursery is a bit premature, maybe. Alright. Casino. Cool. Gym. Sector scanned. Select a sector to scan. Surfaces, food, shopping, art, electronics. Okay, we're going to need a bigger dome, that's for sure. That's too big. Alright, well that's one way to uh, determine what to build. Then we have some decoration as well. Do we have some small stuff that we can do? Outside building. Oh, those are for outside. Okay. Cool. Let's light it up. And what else? Statues, fountains, lakes, alleys. Sure, we're going to build a statue to me, of course. Fountain's too big, small fountain we can fit in there somewhere. Do these also, these fill up, right? Yeah. Research complete. Passenger rockets carry more colonists. Well, that's going to be relevant at some point, right? Cool. <laughs> yeah, fair point, actually. Yeah, that's very true. So is there anything we can fit in here? In terms of services that we think will make people happy because right now we have an electronic store grocer no one works there yet which seems kind of weird to me i guess they'll want security at some point right so let's turn this building around there yeah it looks kind of pretty <laughs> yes of course they have a pear store on mars I know that you can also get sponsored by Space Y. Yeah, fair enough. Remaining duration, three hours. Okay, that's cool. You are also depleted, so let's salvage you as well. Does that mean I could still do this one, maybe? Hmm. Bring me humans! But 
Building's not working? No, because we don't have people, so that makes a lot of sense. It's a rough life here on Mars. Yes! You can't prepare for oh, addiction. this is not good news. Despite the great lengths we go through to make it seem safe and as close as possible to home, one's mind is never too far from the dangers that the privilege of being an interplanetary pioneer carries. We all find our own ways to cope with this pressure. Sia Yoshi finds it in the bottle. She's now an alcoholic. Okay. That's... Ah, here we go. The long-term dream of the human civilization as a whole to settle another world has come true. Eee! And there was much rejoicing. To be among the people who made this happen makes me feel enthusiastic and proud. We are already swarmed with applications for relocation on Mars, and the wanderlust and enthusiasm of these people makes me proud to be a human being. The Red Planet continues to be an inhospitable and even dangerous, but we as a species have always displayed the ability to adapt and improve. The adverse conditions will only make us try harder. So I say, bring it on! Alright, send all the peoples. Well, maybe not all at once. So, uh, give me a ship. Give me a passenger ship. Uh, oh, right, we can sort of filter for this. There's only 12 rooms, and there, right now there's 16 place. So, I don't think we have much of a preference, except that I should not be old, because you know, we have to have some time before they become useless. Yeah. Tourist doesn't work, leaves at the first opportunity. <laughs> okay. Guru. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Vegan, don't worry, they'll tell you. <laughs> cool. I Actually, I think that's rather useful. Is there any specialization that we need? So this is not what we have, right? This is what the... Um, the colonists have... Yeah. Fine. I really don't want to micro this too much. Just send more peoples. Right, so if that's what we're doing... Dare I rely on these pipes for my life support? Let's consider an experiment. I, I kind of want to see stuff fail at some point too, to be honest. Okay. Didn't we have high rises? Yes, high rises. Ish. So this one houses more people, right? Growing food might be wise as well. Produces 10 food per? Per one? Yeah. Places where people are needed. Alright. So, how are we going to make money? Because right now we're just spending, which is fine for early stages, but at some point we want to be self-sufficient. I think... Rare Metals Extractor? Yeah, that makes money. Let's do that then. I assume this is also going to need uh, electricity at the very least. Power cables. Doesn't say, but kind of makes sense. Mm. 
<laughs> being an alcoholic on Mars, I, yeah, I don't envy the guy. Absolutely. Did my wind turbine stop or something? This looks eerie. Um, hello? Did the wind stop? Because that would be bad. That would be lethal, potentially. The wind didn't stop. I stopped time. <laughs> you know, when I was doing co-op with uh, with Sheepy in uh, Crusader Kings, at, at least at some point he would go poke me and say, hey, dude, do you want to unpause or something? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the wind has suddenly uh, picked up, which is good. Uh, yeah, th thanks, I guess. I, I'm a little bit embarrassed. Uh, at least I noticed from something. So this is going to take them a while. Is my... Why are you not checking anomalies? Because I didn't tell you to check anomalies. Ano uh, anom anemones. How are we doing for resources? It's mm, evening and the power is still in the plus. So that's good. Water surplus zero. So this place is not producing. This place is not producing much water. Why? This building has deteriorated and will stop working soon until it receives maintenance. Okay. And maintenance comes from these guys, right? So... Um... But in order to be... Receive maintenance, it needs machine parts. So... Do I... I don't... Um... I get the feeling like I'm missing something for how to make resources move automatically, because I doubt the idea is that I go and click and say bring stuff from A to B manually all the time, right? Breakthrough discovered. Because I'm pretty sure that we do have machine parts. Or we did. Oh. Maybe not. Hmm. Drone hubs. Okay. I figured this guy was like a portable drone hub. Okay, so if the drone hub's ranges are interconnected... Ah, that makes sense. Cool. Let's build drone hubs then. Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, no, that's not a good spot. Can I cancel that still? Cancel construction because yeah, because they only have to touch, right? They don't have to be inside each other's range. So if I have this guy build them, then they can be further apart. Uh, yes, deselect, build a drone hub. Oh, yay! Look at those nice hexes. Well, let's make sure we can surface those pipes as well, right? That makes sense. So you build that one. Yeah, it's uh, it's launching tomorrow, uh, Arm Devil. And storage in the overlap. That actually, that makes sense. All right, so let's give that... Oh, no, 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 don't control him. So it's this area. Mm. 
cool. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So we want a drone hub for this place as well. Um, there's craters everywhere. I think they selected this start location for me because, yeah, this is more flat, but <clears throat> I figured I want to be near the deposits that it had. Ah, that's good. I like that. So, in order to construct you, we need polymers. I guess we're out of those already, aren't we? No, not yet. Oh, wait. Let's actually bring those colonists in. Otherwise, the ship, I think the ship actually deteriorates at some point. Power shortage by 16. Does it also say how much we have in stored power? 340. Okay, yeah, so this is just nighttime situation, right? Explorer sector. Yes, new colonists, finally. Okay, so this thing is functional now, right? And I guess we can also do uh, storage universal somewhere in the middle. You can bring stuff here and then take it from there. Excellent. Yeah, it's all it's all back on track now. Okay, cool. So, what resources do we really need? Electronics. Rare metals should come at some point once we've started building this. Those are not people's, right? Ah, they're finally unloading the food from here to there. So, now this place has 24 people working there. How about their happiness? Quarantine, okay. Disease is a thing then, that's cool. So, can I see how happy people are? Call us. Because I'd like them to. Pipe leak. Is it a crucial one? No, it's one of our redundancy ones. Why is everything so dusty? Shouldn't that get fixed at some point? Because I'm pretty sure the dust is also bad for your stuff. Which is fair enough if you're on Mars. So our power situation should be better now, right? <clears throat> oh, uh, actually our power surplus isn't all that great. So let's build some more power units. Mm. No power, of course. Yeah. Increased production during the storm, high elevation. Decrease during the storm. Okay. 
so a bit of a mix of the two means you've always got something, I guess. Well, let's just build it here. Or are we going to fill that up? No, I think this is a decent spot. Humankind uh. might be on the verge of a new golden age. And we have to be the ones who ride the crest of that wave. New area of scientific discovery. Completely new territory where new scientific discoveries lie behind the corner. Primary reason behind the creation of this colony is scientific, and this is what we're expected to do. Goal, have 40 technology researched at Sol 100. Currently research technologies 18. Alright. Alright. How, how do we make that happen? I mean, we could just buy it. Oh! Cool. Making people sing. I guess outsourcing makes kind of some sense. Fungal farm. Out dome building that produces food. That sounds like a good idea. Bigger domes! Absolutely. Salvage at some point. Oh, we already have some. So let's outsource for 2 billion. Sure. If they want us, <laughs> it's kind of weird. So the, the game says you need to buy, you need to develop more tech because that's what Mars is for. So what do we do? We outsource it to Earth. Cool. That's nice. So, like I said, we're going to need a bigger dome while we're getting it. This place needs people to work there. Shall we order some more humans then? Now that this is empty. Send it back. How many spots for humans do we have? Because I want to be able to house at least all 12 of them. Um, I think it says so in the dome thingy, right? 12 more spots. Vacant residential slots, 4. Ah, so... <laughs> okay. So, I can bring people without building houses for them, but then they're homeless. Why isn't this building? What does it need? It needs polymers. Why don't we have those? Because they're somewhere else. Where are the polymers? Where'd they go? That's not where they are. They've been magically shipped... Oh, apparently there's some over here. Okay, that's rather inconvenient. Can I just tell it, like, put those there? Microing, huh? All right, all right. More power for first. Uh, is it Alt to no Control or just click and drag maybe? So I want to build a couple. Mm. Shift. Shift it is. Makes sense. Yeah, I want this to be spatially efficient. Why aren't you working? Not enough workers. Well, ah, now we have a building where we can house them. So that means we can order more humans. Bring me more humans. Passenger rockets. Wasn't there a, a thing that would allow more passengers in one go? I think there was a research thing. I'm not sure whether it has multiplayer, actually, Necropotence. I haven't seen anything about that. I can have a look in a moment. Uh, 
Passenger rockets carry 10 more colonists, and that is my next bit of research. Okay. So I guess we can wait for that one. Hmm. Analyze anomalies. I keep forgetting to do that. There. Oh, there's a lot of money here. That's cool. So... Um, I mostly, I mean, I don't know what, what comes later in the research tree. Uh, I, the first ones I saw didn't make me think, oh yes, that's exactly what I want. But, um, I don't know what's further down the line. There might be really, really cool stuff there. Uh, I'm, I'm mostly working based on the horizon I have for the things that I see right now. Power shortage, even with... Okay, yeah, these these things are going to have to be built. Soonish. Alright, YouTube, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to leave it a thumbs up at the bottom. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos, do check out the channel and hit subscribe on your top right.